Welcome back to another episode of Life with Spike. And today is going to be cooking with Spike. Today we're going to have some fun. We're going to cook some good food and we're going to eat good. Not so sure. Hopefully the weather holds out and it cooperates with us today. So today I'm going to show you how to cook beef rib simmering in a Dutch oven in a campfire. So hopefully I don't burn it. Hopefully it turns out good. We'll see. But first, we're going to have some lunch. So right now I'm just cooking a little bit of breakfast sausage should i say van life breakfast sausage wraps in the van so i've got the eggs ready to go the sausages are cooked and the onions are caramelized so we're going to throw the egg in there put some cheese on top eat some wraps and then we'll get started getting ready to prepare for those beef ribs yum all right, let's get started. I'm just gonna throw a little bit more butter in there. A little bit of salt and pepper for flavor. Throw some cheese in there. Take our wrap. And add a little bit of taco sauce, medium. Not much, just a, just a quart, squirt, a squirt or two. And fold it. Give it a little squeeze. And you can just like gently roll it. And then you add a little bit of this stuff. And then roll her up nice and tight. Now, if you're like me, you somehow make it a little greasy. You gotta eat it over a plate. Mm. Just right. Well, guys, I'm going to go enjoy my dinner and we'll see you guys when I'm done and we'll start getting prepping on those beef, beef ribs. See you guys in a sec. <laughs> mm. Mm. So good. All right, we've prepped everything we need, ready to go. I'd like to get the stock started. So we're gonna go get the fire started and we'll start cooking our food.
This is a brand new cast iron Dutch oven, so I'm gonna give it a little seasoning. It does come pre-seasoned, but it's always nice after it's been sitting for a while to clean off the dust. Give it a little oil, heat it up before you start using it, just like any cast iron. This rec site doesn't come with a picnic table, so I'm just gonna quickly set up my table, get everything prepared, and we'll start cooking this food. All right, so I've got my beef stock ready to go and I got my frying pan ready to sear. I'm gonna fry up the vegetables in there and then put everything in there. Thinking about it now, what I should have done is I should have put a metal grate inside the liquid and that would have kept the meat above the liquid so that it would have continuously been braised throughout the cooking process. But you live and you learn. So if you do this, make sure you put a grate in the bottom to raise the meat up. Now that I've got all four sides of the meat seared, I'm going to put it into the liquid. My main goal here is just to soak up some of the beef juices that were left when the searing process was going on and to season some of the food and caramelize the onions before we put it into the pot. Okay. After I got my meat braised, I put it in my stock. I put my special blend recipe on top. If I can find it, I'll put it in the description down below, but it's just basically a mix of seasoning salt, onion powder, garlic powder, cumin, uh, paprika, and a couple other things. Um, can't remember offhand. I'm not gonna try and guess, but if I can find the recipe, I'll give it to you guys. But I'm going to put it in here, and now we're going to start slowly simmering it. Smoke it brutal in the eyes, though. Alright, I'm going to check my food. Sun finally came out, so that's nice. Yeah, I think it's done. My ash is falling apart. There's barely any liquid left. It's a good sign. All right, let's eat. Now, this looks freaking amazing. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> Just falls right off the bone. Oh wow, it's so tender. You guys don't even know how good this is. Mm. Absolutely good, so good. I figured I was gonna pick it up with the, with the bone and eat it, but um, It just fell off the bone. Yeah, I could eat this every couple nights. Heck yeah. I'm going to finish eating my dinner. I'm going to do some dishes. And we'll see you guys after I'm done. No sense watching me eat dinner. I really like this um, collapsible sink. 
It's very handy. And it's nice and big too. It's bigger than my other bins too. And the fact that it just folds right up like that into a nice little tight little package. It's pretty nice. I need to get a second one of these and just replace my other bins because that would just save so much space in the van. Anyways, I'm all done dishes. And I'm going to get ready for my shower. Oh, this is perfect. I'm preheating the diesel heater too, so it's nice and warm when I get in the van and dry off too. It's nothing like shivering after a nice warm shower. But it's not that cold. So I'm going to enjoy the shower before it's too gone. It gets too cold. Yeah. I'm going to last a little bit of sun before it goes gone. Who am I kidding? The sun's already down. We'll go enjoy the nice hot fireplace when I'm done. For some odd reason, I don't know what happened, but I must have forgotten to hit the record button. But I did enjoy the campfire last night. I was reading my book for a while, and that's when I recorded my outro video, and it just disappeared. I don't know where it is, but here's my outro video, guys. I really enjoyed today's lunch and dinner. It was fun recording it and showing you guys the steps I took to make this delicious food on the campfire. And hopefully you guys catch me tomorrow on the next episode of Life with Spike. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace out.